So, parametric design, most of us know the term or at least heard of it, however, knowing what exactly stands for is why you're here, and for that, in this video, I will try to shortly shed a light on those four things. What is parametric design, how we can go with it using Blender, and is Blender the best thing to work on parametrics, and if not, what are the alternatives? So the term parametric, if you looked online you probably won't find a solid definition for the subject, a quick google search on the term parametric design will land you on some interesting collection of images, a common thing between those visuals is a pattern of complex forms made by not so complex small parts. You will also notice that the term parametric is somewhat connected to the term algorithm, and the articles on this subject will go further connecting it to more geometric aspects, so from my understanding, parametric shapes means the design you working on is interchangeable with other aspects whether it's numbers, values or the elements lining up in formation, any aspect of the project that changing it will change the final shape and most of the time those aspects are modified along the project at all times. Now for the second part of this project, how we can do parametric in Blender, what if we have an image and we want to remake the design behind it, well it should be easy, let's say we have a simple design like this shape, a parametric design for a ceiling lamp, and we want to create it in Blender, we can go around the simplest shape that is repetitive in this array of layers, which is a triangle, so let us add it with a modified circle, and change its scale to anything you find suited, we won't go on exact design numbers much since I just want you to know the basic idea around decomposing the design or the shape you want to create, we can now make an outline for this triangle using the copy scale shortcut saw with the solidify modifier, the way blender works is there's always more than one way to achieve things, so you need to experiment around with it if you still beginning with the program. So I need to change the inner line shape, first of all I will apply the solidify, then by selecting the inner edges, I will add a subdivision on it, this way I can double the vertices count. Now we have an extra vertex in the middle of each edge, with this we can change the line inside resulting in different shapes. We can also after that add some bevel on those vertices to smooth the transitions between the inner ones from mid to corner, and that will land us on this final form. With this, we can go and cut the inner part by any process you know, say the boolean one, then use what left with some arrays to form a new structure. And that's what parametric design is all about, combining small parts together in a form to shape different designs that are controlled by the variables you started with. Now if you think this example is a bit rushed, we did make couple of parametric design tutorials on the channel that are step by step and easy to follow for beginners, so you can check them out in the description box.
parametric design are one of the most enjoyable things to work at, since the variation of results you will end up with. Now to answer the third question in this video, is Blender good for parametrics? Can you go and learn Blender for the sake of making awesome parametric designs? For me, Blender is awesome for all kind of architecture designs, however, with parametric, the weak points in it is more than its strength, and that comparing to the other major softwares in the field, and you will notice that once you have a basic knowledge around the different programs even just by looking at tutorials online, however, if you still a beginner, my recommendation is that try to stick with Blender for a bit, and the main reason here is that it's free, and you might have a change of heart around parametrics and finding it a bit complex or not your thing after all. Now what are the alternatives, is there any software that comes to mind when you hear the term parametric design, well I think most people agree that Rhino with Grasshopper is the combination everyone should start with, both are incredibly powerful especially Grasshopper, and you don't need to program or code anymore to build fancy parametric designs. You have also Revit 3D which is consider a good tool in parametric design with its relationships among all elements in the project. At the end they all are tools so choose your destiny, and that's it, hope you've learned something from this video. Visit the channel for more tutorials around architecture and other Blender related subjects and see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.